Welcome to the show. My guest today, Chris Sambar, Senior Vice President, AT&T FirstNet. Chris, welcome to the discussion. Thank you. Glad to be here. And Stacey Schwartz, Vice President, AT&T Public Safety and FirstNet Solutions. Stacey, welcome to the discussion. Thank you. I'm glad to be here. When we talk about public safety, I want to broaden the conversation a little bit. You know, a lot of this is, is there's a lot of risk, what you guys are doing. And, and this risk is huge for AT&T. It's huge for the government. It's huge for public safety. So maybe talk a little bit about how AT&T is addressing all those risks. So maybe I can just talk about our bigger perspective on public safety. We have a long history. Think about it as being part of our DNA, supporting public safety. Many years ago, AT&T that started our 911 services. So it's not unfamiliar risk for us. Um, we're very familiar with supporting the public safety community. But I also believe um, from the standpoint of the investment that we're putting into the to the network, making sure that we have resiliency and redundancy, that's supporting the, the risk equation for us because we are very cognizant of whom we are providing service for with FirstNet. So we knew going into it, there was just a tremendous amount of risk. Um, but the way we cope with that risk from the board of directors and the CEO on down is everyone has been 100% focused on getting this done and putting whatever resources necessary into it so that we'll get, get the job done right. Where is it going in the future? Like, how, how do you expect FirstNet to kind of continue to evolve? 2019 is here. What's, what's the milestones you guys are looking at now? There are still many of whom are just getting acclimated and familiar with FirstNet. So they're getting familiar with FirstNet within their own agencies. I think the next step is for them to really interoperate with other agencies. So we started the conversation talking about interoperability coming out of 9-11. So when you think about conversations that need to be had within federally oriented task forces where a federal entity needs to speak with a local entity and there are certain organizations that absolutely need to communicate. Today they may be doing it via voice and a radio. Tomorrow they may be needing to create a, uh, a common understanding of incident, uh, incident awareness uh, ahead of going into a particular place, right? It's the next level, just not getting the connectivity, the coverage, the priority, but really using it in a situational you know, application-oriented environment and using it not just within your own agency, but creating that interoperability among many. And so that's the next step for, for our larger community of interest within the first responder community. But that broader um, environment, those are the hospitals, the utilities. So think about even a, a weather disaster where you absolutely need some transportation service to be able to communicate with priority because we can't get through to a hospital. We need those in entities to be also on that platform to, to just create the, the continuity in the ecosystem and really make it work. So that's when that first net will really have a huge impact, I think, on our safety and our ability to respond to emergencies. Mm -hmm.